So this is part three of the Acacia story. Um, the decision to retypify Acacia required that the genus Acacia had to get a new type species, and it had to be an Australian wattle. This retypification allowed the genus Acacia to be restricted to Australian species. Acacia has a new type species, Acacia pinervis, uh, commonly known as a mountain hickory wattle, or blackwood, and it's native to Eastern Australia. It also meant that the predominantly African and American species previously grouped into Acacia had to be reclassified into new genera that DNA evidence supported as monophyletic. The main genera that resulted from the taxonomic work were Vachelia and Senegalia, but some species ended up in other genera, the apple ring Acacia, for example, or Anna tree, previously known as Acacia albida, had already been put into the genus Phyderbia uh, as uh, Phyderbia albida. So Bachelia and Senegalia were the two genera that were used to take care of most of the African species. The original type of Acacia is now a member of the genus Vachelia as Vachelia nilotica, which is right outside my window here. Uh, the name changes were difficult for many, especially in Africa where the word acacia is deeply rooted in culture and has a significant meaning. In many other countries, older literature is all that has been available, so changing the way we talk about these trees has been difficult because people don't have the newer literature. Uh, many people still struggle with it, but unfortunately there isn't anything to be done about it at the formal level. Please note that on YouTube, this video will be continued in the next one. This is because it is too long for a normal YouTube short.